There is a saying that if one does not know rural China, he does not know the real China. According to official statistics, 60% of the Chinese people are living in the countryside. China's continuous high-speed economic development has caught everyone's attention, and it still moves forward steadily, even in the days when the whole world is immersed in an economic predicament. At the same time, how does rural China move forward? It has been a custom for Li Haitao to watch the meteorological cloud picture every day. Although the weather reports are broadcast on TV or the internet nearly every second, Haitao still wants to analyze it by himself. Every time when he is intoxicated in predicting the atmosphere of the world, Haitao feels that he is in charge. When the weather condition is determined, Haitao would arrange his day. When Haitao is running to the front line, Laozhou, for more than 2,000 kilometers, is away on the phone. It is common for Laozhou to pay more than 400 yuan per month on his mobile phone nowadays. Going back 30 years, this was the total income in one year for the whole family of Laozhou. The summer harvest just passed, and it was the key time to choose the next plant variety. The solar term does not wait for people, so the two mobile phones of Laozhou are open the whole day. He does not like to miss any calls, because one call may influence the income of hundreds of families. Haitao and his wife do not worry about the choice of the planted variety. In the area of Heilongjiang, where they live, there is one harvest one year. Haitao chooses to plant corn, and he is very familiar with it. The income from planting corns every year for the couple is hundreds of thousands of yuan. The planting scale and income are not prominent in this area of Heilongjiang. The planting scale of Haitao's neighborhood is not less than him. Compared to Haitao, Laozhou is in charge of more land, more than 6,000 acres. Being in charge means that he is only an organizer and a negotiator. Here is a discussion meeting about next season's plant variety. Laozhou plays the role of the representative of the Landstock Cooperation of Panzhuang County, Zhuangzhuang Town, Pei County, Jiangsu Province. There's an old idiom, draw on the wisdom of the masses, which means that the masses offer ideas and make decisions. There are more than 6,000 acres of lands and more than 800 families. If all the problems were put on Laozhou's shoulders, it would be a burden. Drawing on the wisdom of the masses would release Laozhou to some degree.
Once the result of drawing on the wisdom of the masses is determined, the response would fall on Lao Zhou's shoulders. If he says 500 acres of lands, then it is 500 acres of lands. How does the indigenous land corporation cooperate? Why could Lao Zhou, the corporate representative, speak on the behalf of more than 6,000 acres of lands? If thinking it over, Haitao like in Heilongjiang are in charge of 1,000 acres of planting areas. Here comes the doubt that does not the countries in China apply contract to family. Since the 1980s, reform in China has developed primarily like a raging fire in rural China. 中国的农村改革，它最核心的问题是农村的基本经营制度变了。Before 1981, the work unit in rural China was the work team. According to the planting and breeding plan, the working team organized farmers to work, and all the products were sold to the state. The work team distributed salaries to farmers according to the income of the year. The all-round contract, which began in 1981, is also called the Household Contract Responsibility System with the contract rights allotted to each family. The farmer's family arranges every production activity by themselves, and the rest completely belongs to the contractor other than the agricultural tax paid to the state and that's submitted to the collective and other submissions. The farmers generalize a method as guarantees the state leaves enough mass and the rest is our own. <laughs> The all round contract began in Xiaogang Village, Fenyang County, Anhui Province. In the first year, the grain output increased from 15,000 kilograms to 65,000 kilograms. The all-round contract rapidly solved the problem of essential needs for farmers. However, with the development of the market economy in China, one family, one working team had to face the fact that the prices of seeds and fertilizers and such agricultural resources are adjusted continuously and also take into account agricultural taxes and fees. It is a little bit hard for them to have a well-off life. 谁到一千斤的产量,玉米大一千斤的产量,大都打四百斤,五百斤的产量。他有没得也就是说,就是四百块钱。啊,你去掉这些农药,种子,结构,采收,在山下不去了,你去去基本上没钱了。On the other hand, after China reformed and opened in all fields, foreign trade processing companies have bloomed, and many workers left the countryside. The farmers still worry about their contract lands, even when they are working far away. As in the present social security system of China, contract lands are the retirement pension for the farmers. Therefore, even if the income of lands is not that much, 
they still consider the land contract rights as the essence of life. 你用不的，你现在也就是个几百块钱收入啊。这一趟从东北就是或者长春啦、你哈尔滨回来这一趟，这个单程就得哎二三百块钱，来回都五六百。这用不的一年的收入，完了。How can we put those interested in land, like Lee Hightow and Joe Chilung, to good use? And how can those who work away from home feel steady? Through demonstration and exploration, the Chinese government has encouraged farmers to transfer their land contract management rights. 中央政策鼓励是农户之间的，是吧？流转，是吧？提出来，明确提出来三个不得，是吧？嗯，不得改变土地所有制性质，不得改变土地的用途，不得侵犯农民的土地权益。The more than 1,000 acres planted by Hightow are transferred from the villagers working away from home. The rent for one acre for one year is 500 yuan. Once the contract is made, the period of validity is always three to five years. Haitao likes to plant, and he has his own opinions. 打个比方，就说是收入五千，咱们这一年花了四千五，你下一年种地还是足够。说如果我要是种六场地，或者是十场地，这样就是加倍呢，把这种六场地翻一倍，这样的话就是剩一万块钱。你这一年花了五千块钱，还能剩五千。Economies of scale in economics may not be familiar to Hightow, but according to the plain metaphor, he plants more than 1,000 acres of lands well. 一共去年是投投入是四十六四十六万左右吧，然后到秋天卖了是嗯八十多万，不到九十万。In the areas of northeast and northwest of China. Planters like Li Haitao are becoming more and more. The vast field and sparse population are a predetermined condition for intensive farming. China has a vast territory, landform and land feature, atmosphere and environment. And the population of each place is not the same. Adjusting measures to local conditions has become one feature of Chinese agriculture. For example, there is less land and more people in Panjuang village where Zhou Qilong lives. So it is less than one acre of lands per capita. Therefore, it is not that suitable to collect so much land for one person like Hai Tao. 只想那看看能把这个土地呢，咋子能利用起来？在这个就是说，呃，有限的土地上，能不能看能发挥出来一点就是呃大的效益，比如说更大的效益啊？当然。There is an old saying: one acre of garden, ten acres of fields. Pei County, where Panjuang belongs, is not far from big cities such as Shanghai. Nanjing and Beijing. In the past years, families are scattered to plant vegetables, but the varieties are not uniform, and the quality is not guaranteed. So the sales become a problem. Zhou Qiliang, as the village party secretary, wonders how to solve this. Cooperation means the farmer buys shares with an acre of land as one share. The cooperation plants the variety by section and manage integrally and sell integrally. The lowest income for one year of each share is 600 yuan, and the villagers will get profit at the end of the year according to the efficiency. Zhou Qiliang was elected as the proprietor. Once they heard that the farmers in Panjuang cooperated, the vegetable processing company and the vegetable dealers came to the village. 你要是养一个鸡，是你是拿拿着鸡早点买单。现在你就是说养多呢，是他们上你这来买单。现在就是这一样道理。现在你种的多呢，并不要占据上门去找他们去了。啊，销售这个呢，现在是一点问题都不少，有多些能卖多些。如果能多收入，一亩地能多收入二三百块钱。This is only the shared profit of lands, which do not cost any work. Once the land is in shares. The labor is distributed naturally. 
Those who have capabilities and skills could work away from home. Those older people and women who have to take care of kids could also work in the cooperative if they are willing to. Seeing the effects of the cooperation in Panjuang, neighboring villages have become eager to follow their example. The bigger the scale the indigenous land corporation in Panjuang is, the readier vegetable dealers will be able to deal with them. Nowadays, such indigenous land corporations are appearing across China. Pei County, where Chilean Zhou lives, has many. The land is the most important production means for farmers. If the land use rights are truly open, the economy in the country will become active. The flow of the production means of the land also facilitates the improvement and update of other produce resources. The application effects of the new variety and new technology are visible, and the requirements of the farmers become higher. As for the corn reaping machine, it is not a new thing. But the past corn reaping machine, no matter whether it is imported or made in China, will not work when it is on land with a gentle slope like that contracted to Haitao. Hearing that one nearby farming machine factory could solve the problem, Hightail became excited but hesitated at the price of more than 100,000 yuan for one machine. The subsidy referred to by the factory director is called the farming machine subsidy a benefit provided by the government to encourage farmers to use advanced farming machinery. There is not only the farming machine subsidy, the farmers could enjoy the grain subsidy, fine seeds subsidy when buying the fine seeds and obtain agricultural resources subsidy when the pesticide and fertilizer cost more and also fuel subsidy for the fuel of farming machinery. <laughs> Uh, 
个人就是有一个那个折，直接就给打到那个邮，就银行。There are not only subsidies. Since 2006, the government has reduced the agricultural tax and the agricultural special products tax. The farmers call this not handling in public grain anymore. On one hand is the subsidy, and on the other hand is tax reduction. The farmers get actual boom. In 2008, the central government of China invested capital of 562 billion yuan in three agricultural problems. In China, the unbalanced economy is a reality. It is more pressing for poor areas to get talent. In Mazhuang Village, which is less than 100 kilometers from Panzhuang Land Cooperative, they still had been planting wheat and rice separately until last year. Although the government provides a subsidy, they do not live well with less land and more people. They became anxious when they saw other people establishing greenhouses and selling vegetables. However, the village built 50 acres of greenhouses this year, and the capsicums of the first season have been sold. The person calling on the village to release the burden and operate the machine. Is named Wei Sun. Do not look at the condition nowadays. She is an authentic girl from the city. She came to the Majuang when she graduated from university in August 2007. 当时我的一个大学教授吧，一个老师，他就跟我讲说的，你在农村里面这三年所积累的这些经验，是你一不一辈子享用不尽的财富。In 2007. Jiangsu Province selected some excellent graduates to serve as village officials in the poor village to help the village to improve, and the term is three years. Wei Sun was one of the 1,011 students that year. Seeing the situation in Majuang Village, she decided to promote the vegetable greenhouse in the village. But how could she make the villagers trust her? At the time, I thought, what job can make it not cause the market risk? 当时就想到了这个做源头产业是最好的，呃，一个呢就是一个呃制种，还有一个就是育苗，育苗我们这边的这个棚子条件是不可以的，所以我们就想着那就是制种，制种也就是我们现在基本上也也就算很多地方都提倡的是订单农业，先签订了合同，然后找到了买家才去生产。In Salmiao village of Pei County, there is a website called Agriculture Easy Search, which is beginning to shape. It is a good thing for the farmers. Once you input the name of the agricultural products, the day prices in the markets all over the country show up. 我们要找到农业收的商业模式，一点一点调整。其实我们现在也有一些思路，在其实在这边来去做。The website is easy. It is the most comprehensive and most timely agricultural products price information website. Since June 2008, it has had over 5,000 hits each day. Some risk investors also recognize the potential of the websites and invest capital without any hesitation. The creator of a website. Called Agriculture Easy Search is called Huashu, who is also a college student village official. Because we are a small agricultural production center, 
当时我们那个传统那个销售呢，是靠我们村一个协会，协会里面有农产品经纪人，去到外面去跑市场，他们基本上靠传统这种人脉关系去跑，他就面临一个什么问题，就是一个渠道比较窄，另外信息比较少，范围比较少，这就面临一个什么问题？他可能在价格高的时候，比较外部行情好的时候，他才去拉，因为他知道这个圈子比较小。但是这是一方面问题。刚开始的时候，我是尝试呢，就是建立我们村协会网站，尝试就是在像农农业网、农博网这上面发布一些农产品供给信息。Nowadays, the graduate student village officials like Wei Sun and Hua Xu can be found in more than 13,000 villages in China. In the recent years, the graduates face more and more stress in terms of the employment in the city. The opportunity for developing in the countryside. Became obvious for them as the Chinese government provided more and more support for rural areas. Graduate students becoming village officials. It is natural for those who know the Chinese history to associate it with educated young people being sent to the mountains and to the countryside. At that time, young people of a suitable age had to be sent to villages. Graduate students, village officials, are different now. One reason is that they are volunteers. Another is that the government provides them with a second choice after they have worked there for three years. This provides the graduates a road to Rome amid the huge stress of employment. Ladiao这种的队伍当中来，这一点就是是我觉得是我现在得到的最大的一个收获。其实赚钱并不是一个最终目的，最终目的是让老百姓看到你赚钱了，他们跟着你过来一起去干，一起去享受这个呃征收的